Hey, Pastor Brett here. This past Sunday at Harvest was a wonderful Father's Day. I preached a special message just toward men, and I promised that I would be sharing some recommended resources with you. And in this video, that's what I want to do. So I want to recommend six or seven books, as well as some websites for men to help you in your walk with Christ and becoming the man of God, the husband, the father God wants you to be. The first and by far the most important resource I want to recommend, of course, is God's Word. Spend quality time in the Word of God. It almost goes without saying when we talk about resources for Christians and their spiritual development, their spiritual growth, that the Bible is the most important resource. But I don't want to neglect in this video mentioning that. So I'm going to give you three other resources that I recommend, but if you have time to only read one thing, make it God's Word. But if you have some additional time, not to the neglect of your time in the Word, and you want to develop yourself as a man, I think there's some uh, good resources to recommend to you. And I'm going to start with a book that's been out for quite a while, I'd say at least 25 years, uh, maybe more. It's called Point Man by Steve Farrar. It was probably, wouldn't be surprised if it was the best-selling book during the Promise Keepers uh, era. I know Promise Keepers is still a great ministry today, but I'm thinking about back in the mid-90s when Promise Keepers was so popular and filling stadiums with men and great speakers challenging men to be the uh, to be God's man. Point Man, Steve Farrar, great overall book, How a Man Can Lead His Family. Uh, next, when it comes to marriage, there's several good books out there, but um, here's a book by Jimmy Evans. Jimmy Evans has a, a television program called Marriage Today with his wife, and it's available, or you can watch it on Christian television. And he is very biblical and very practical. And here's his book, Marriage on the Rock. So that's a good book on marriage. To be a godly man, you have to develop spiritual disciplines. And this book's been around for quite a while as well, and is very popular. Uh, for men. I've read a lot of books on spiritual disciplines and, and uh, uh, th let's see the first edition of this came out in 1991 so it's almost been 30 years and it's still a highly recommended resource across the country uh, for, for men. So Disciplines of Godly Man. Another book I'd like to recommend is in the area that is a, a particular struggle for a lot of men and that's with the struggle of sexual sin, lust, pornography, and Again, there's several good resources out there, but I want to recommend a fairly easy read by Joshua Harris titled Not Even a Hint, an excellent book to help a man deal with the hard issues surrounding lust and pornography. Now, I have a couple other books at home that I don't have with me here at the office that I want to recommend, and that's in regard to parenting. And so guys, I would encourage you to grab a copy if you're raising boys, uh, Dr. James Bot Dr. James Dobson's book, Bringing Up Boys, as well as the book he wrote later on, Bringing Up Girls. Two outstanding resources for you as you recognize there's a difference between raising boys and raising girls. These books will help you out with that. Finally, I do want to mention there are some websites I'd like to recommend. If, it, if you are struggling with the area of lust pornography and you need additional help, uh, I would recommend that you, if you live on the First Coast and in our area here in Jacksonville, that you seek out the ministry of Faithful and True. My good friend uh, Jerry Sinclair leads that ministry. They have several meeting locations across the city where you can come and uh, with confidentiality you can share your struggle and you'll find a supporting, loving, non-judgmental environment where you'll be challenged and helped out on how to deal with that. You can go to their website at 904-TRUE. That's 904 T-R-U-E dot org. In addition to that resource, just some general family resources on the internet that's available is Focus on the Family. Focus on the Family. Um, also, Family Life Today with Dennis Rainey. And then one uh, ministry I subscribe to the podcast, and you can listen on my phone, is Family Talk with Dr. James Dobson. So those are three great ministries that minister to the family in general, but will oftentimes have resources available for men. This past weekend, Father's Day weekend, all three of those ministries had outstanding 30-minute programs geared toward uh, fathers and how to help them out. So there you go. There's some recommended resources. Hope they're a blessing to you. 
Uh, if you have any resources you'd like to recommend, if you're following along on Facebook at our church webpage or, or my Facebook page, then um, just mention what's been helpful to you in those areas of being a man of God, a godly husband, godly father. Thank you. God bless. If you'd like this video, please share it and also subscribe. Thanks.